Okay, here I'm going to do a demo on how to set up a WordPress uh, testing site on a subdomain on your iOS control panel. Create a subdomain. Then I'm going to choose the domain I want to create the subdomain under. I'm just copying and pasting what. Okay, so I'm going to. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to. And now check on my subdomain that's been created. Here it is. First thing we want to do is click use our domain and we want to connect it to a web space. Okay, so I've created a folder that's the same name as the uh, subdomain and we're just going to do that, but it doesn't matter. It could be any name. Click Save. Okay, so now it's given us the option to create an email address. We don't need to do that right now. Now I'm going to test out this, this subdomain. Okay, so we've got, we've got the WordPress install and I've already created a MySQL database so I can click continue. Let's go. And I'm going to copy this info in here. And click submit and it's going to say okay run the installation I'm going to copy that password into my notes file and then I'll change it so the site's title right now I'm just going to use And I want to paste that off into my my notes while I'm doing this. And because this is a testing server and on a subdomain, I want to discourage search engines from indexing it. But you always want to make sure you change that when you go live. We can save that password in our browser. And log in. And now we have WordPress installed on our subdomain. We can go ahead and update our plugins. This is the latest version of WordPress, so we don't have to worry about that. We can turn off some of this info. We don't need the quick draft and WordPress news and events, the welcome message. settings the usually I wanted to change the time zone we're here in Chicago so 
Chicago actually has a city in here. Click save. Uh, that's okay, reading. We're gonna check this so because we don't want anyone contacting us or commenting. And we can uncheck these. And check that just in case. Permalinks, we want to change this to post name. can use this default privacy page for now. Let's see if that's yeah it's in here. Let's take a look at that. Looks good to me. So next I'll usually take the sample page and okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the plugins and add new and I install a classic editor and classic widgets. And we can go ahead and activate those. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is go to our themes. We're going to choose Add New, Upload Theme. I'm just going to drag this over here. And this is the, whoops. Okay, that was the incorrect file. That was the uh, the folder. We want we want to put the zipped version over here and click install now. And we'll we'll go ahead and activate that. Return to dashboard. We're gonna dismiss this because we don't want those extra plugins. And. And I'm going to go to appearance. I'm going to get rid of these themes. Now we'll take a look at that. Okay, this is the default. So the next thing we got to do is Usually on the pages, I'll change the sample page to the home page. We'll just call it home. We'll change this to home. Click OK. We'll delete everything here. We'll just type home page so we know what it is. And then we're, we're going to click add new page and we're going to create a page for the blog. And the reason is we're going to go back here to settings and then reading. And we're going to change this to a static page. The home page to home and post page to blog. And click save changes. Now if we choose view site, okay, so this is just, this is just a static page.
So another thing you want to be sure of is your you have your users set up correctly. If you want to add another user, you can go ahead and go into here, add the username. I'm going to add updates. Make that administrator and click add user. And now you're pretty much ready to go.